Olivia Jade rises to the top in last night's episode of Dancing with the Stars. Hey guys, welcome back to another Dancing with the Stars update. I have the latest on one of the top performances of the night, but before we get into it, make sure that you are subscribed to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. You guys, we have to talk about Olivia Jade and Val dancing a samba to I Just Can't Wait to Be King from The Lion King. This was one of my favorite performances of the night, so let's take a look at the clip. Now, even if you're not a huge fan of Olivia, you have to admit that she looked absolutely adorable as a cat. And not to mention, this is an iconic song that everyone knows. Their samba was great, and Olivia is actually a rock star of a dancer. Her technique is on point. Her facial expressions are so entertaining. I mean, she's a natural. It looks like she's been dancing her whole life. And the judges thought the same. Derek even said that she's becoming one of his favorite dancers on the show. And Len, our most critical judge, said that, quote, there was lots of zip and no doo-dah anywhere, which sounds a little weird, but it was actually a huge compliment coming from him. Ultimately, they scored a 35 out of 40, which means they're tied for second place with Jojo Siwa and Jenna. Now, we all know what happened with Olivia in the past, but have you guys forgiven her? I mean, it was an awful thing, but honestly, she took accountability and watching her on Dancing with the Stars reminds me that she's just a young girl and she's trying to get through life just like the rest of us. She's doing a great job on the show and I think that she really deserves for her past to be put behind her once and for all. And she actually has a really good chance of winning. So. Olivia, I'm rooting for you. Let me know if you guys are rooting for her as well. And spoiler alert, kind of, not really. Nobody went home last night. We actually get another episode of Dancing with the Stars tomorrow night as the couples will transform into Disney villains. I don't know about you guys, but I am so beyond excited for tomorrow. Again, I love everything about Disney and the villain theme is going to be amazing. So I cannot wait to see what these couples bring to the table. Although no one went home, this means that there will be double eliminations tomorrow. So let's talk about what's at stake here. The hero dance scores will be combined with the villain dance scores to really see who goes home. Right now, our top three couples are Melora Hardin and Artem, who are in first place. And again, tied for second are Olivia Jade and Val and Jojo and Jenna. Our bottom three couples are the real life couple, Brian Green and Sharna, who are at the very, very bottom, and slightly above them are Matt James and Lindsay, and one point above them are Cody Rigsby and Cheryl, who are back in the ballroom after finishing their COVID quarantine. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you until tomorrow night's episode. Let me know if you want to see Olivia stay down in the comments below and what villain you think she's going to be tomorrow. And again, make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any future your videos. I'm your host Gianna Gravelisi. My social handle is on the screen right now. If you want to give me a follow, come say hi, ask me any Dancing with the Stars questions in my DMs. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!